Have you ever wondered why some people live much longer than others and look younger? The answer may lie in their diet. Let's explore the secrets of honey. Learn how it slows aging and reduces the risks of various diseases. Please give us a like and let's get started. Honey contains a number of components that can have a positive effect on slowing down the aging process, prolonging life and rejuvenating the body. In this context, the chemical composition of honey includes vitamin C, E, B vitamins, enzymes, catalase, amylase, diastase, phosphatase, and various trace elements. The peculiarity of honey lies in its high digestibility of the body, amounting to 100%. And before we continue to consider its effect on the body, let's briefly consider a very interesting history of its origin. The consumption of honey dates back thousands of years, starting with images in the city of Valencia in an Oran cave dating back about 15,000 years ago. Ancient Egypt also described the medicinal properties of honey. Beekeeping as an industry and modern hives originated in the 7th to 8th centuries BC in ancient Greece. Bee honey was formerly a staple sweet, but with the invention of sugar extraction from sugar beets and cane, sugar gradually supplanted honey. Today, quality bee honey is considered a delicacy. There are many types of honey derived from different plants, such as buckwheat, sainfoin, acacia, chestnut, linden, sunflower, melon, and others. Buckwheat honey stands out for its content of amino acids and trace elements, exceeding the other varieties twice. Acacia honey is used to fight insomnia and neurological diseases, and linden honey helps with asthma and bronchitis. Regular consumption of honey has a beneficial effect on the body. Honey becomes a friend of the stomach, increases appetite, and has a beneficial effect on the digestive system. It also has a positive effect on the microflora, helping to restore it and maintain a healthy balance. Honey also helps normalize sleep, which plays a key role in our overall health and longevity. Its beneficial effects are not only felt on the quality of sleep, but also on heart function. Consumption of honey is recommended for nervous disorders and its calming effects on the body are well known. It is important to note that honey shows its positive properties and in the fight against cold. Studies confirm that honey increases the body's resistance to infection. Folk wisdom, passed on to us by our mothers and grandmothers, find scientific confirm. Asian honey, taken for colds, really helps to relieve local inflammation in the Honey also has a favorable effect on the thyroid gland. It is noted that its use promotes tissue regeneration, relieves inflammation, and has a disinfectant effect. It is not surprising that in cosmetology, honey is widely used to create masks that, in addition to the external effect, also strengthen the skin from the inside. Another important property of honey is its ability to act as a natural laxative. The calcium contained in honey helps to strengthen bones. Having a positive effect on the cardiovascular system, honey improves heart function and gives blood vessels greater elasticity. It also improves blood quality and strengthens the heart muscle. Despite all these positive properties, it should be noted that the use of honey is not without some potential problems. First of all, we should note its high caloric content, approximately 328 kilocalories in 100 grams of honey. Excessive consumption can potentially contribute to excess weight gain. You should also pay attention to the glycemic index of honey, which can vary from 30 to 95 units. Nutritionists recommend limiting the consumption of foods with a high glycemic index, and although honey can fluctuate, it should be noted that the fructose and glucose content affects this index. In addition, honey can cause allergic reactions and individual intolerance. This may be due to the type of pollen or added ingredients, and although allergies to honey do not always occur, individual reactions can vary. Diabetes is also a contraindication to honey consumption, as foods with a high glycemic index are restricted in this condition. There are also recommendations for the consumption of honey. For example, it is not recommended to be heat treated above 60 degrees Celsius to avoid the possible formation of carcinogenic substances. When adding honey to tea, it is advisable to let the tea cool down a bit before doing so. When choosing honey, 
it is advisable to prefer something that has not been processed in winter and not to choose liquid honey in the cold season, as natural honey can only be liquid in summer. In general, consuming honey in moderation, not exceeding three tablespoons per day, can be beneficial for healthy people. Subscribe to the channel, give a like and watch these helpful videos. We look forward to your comments.